good morning. Thanks for checking out my Crassula Oveda. Now this is the red dwarf or C Crosby's dwarf. And you can see it's different than the standard form. The standard form has larger leaves, they're greener. And this one is a little bit different. As you can see, the leaves are kind of smaller. Nice red, redness on the margins. And it just grows more petite in my experience. You can see the blooms are stunning, the little star-shaped flowers with a little bit of purple in there, if you can see it, lavender. And this plant likes to bloom midwinter in Southern California. So it's January right now, and you can see it's very, very happy. Now this plant will get four to five feet in time. It takes many years to grow this plant to get it that size. You can see our, mine's about eight years old, 10 years old maybe. It's just starting to get pretty thick down at the trunk. Now you can use this as a bonsai. You can grow it indoors or outdoors like I do. It does propagate from cuttings really, really easily. You can see it's just more petite than other jade plants and a bit more red. That's what I really like about it. Now it does change quite a bit of color and it does get about three quarters of the day sunlight here in this location. And it's really, really happy here as you can see. Now jade plants tend to bloom best after they're stressed in my experience. And so this one did not get that stressed out, so the, bro the blooms are not prolific, as I've seen it in the past. I must have given it too much water this summer. You honestly don't really need to water them at all. In Southern California, once established, they're very, very hardy plants. And usually if you have a neglected garden or a house that has been abandoned, these jade plants are the last ones standing, last ones surviving in our climate. Now this one I noticed is a little less hardy to cold. It's a bit more sensitive. It will get more damage from cold weather in our zone 9B. And it's hardy to about 25 to I'd say 30 degrees. But this one is a little less resilient compared to the other Crassulas I grow. So there you go, the red dwarf jade. Really stunning plant. Give us a like and a subscribe, and hopefully you can get yourself a cutting of this and grow one yourself. It does take several years to bloom, by the way, so be patient. It takes about six to seven years, in my experience, from a cutting. All right, have a great day. Thanks for your time. Take care.